This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Sure, I was miserable, but it didn't mean the band was over. It meant I had to fight to bring it back. Even if I didn't know what I was going to do, I realized I could and would do something. I had to fight to leave that feeling and situation behind. I simply told myself, this is not the end. This is not the final outcome. I was determined not to allow the ship to sink. One reason to keep going was to avoid giving the people who didn't like us the satisfaction of watching our demise. Another was my refusal to let anybody except me determine the outcome of the situation. Funny how, in situations like that, some bands will go on stage and give a half-assed show, which makes no sense to me, because then you're penalizing the people who showed up. Don't be angry at the people who actually came. Give them something that they can go home and tell other people about. If the band wanted to continue, the solution obviously wasn't to have fewer people next time. We needed to attract more people instead, so lashing out at the people who were there would have been crazy. What we needed to do was blow them away. I spent a lot of time wondering what else we could do to change the outcome. Taking the makeup off is one thing. Creatures was a terrific album and a great declaration of our resolve to come back even stronger, but it fell on deaf ears because people were tired of seeing us the way we had always looked. Maybe they were unable to embrace other personalities or other faces in makeup. And it was clear to me that people were listening with their eyes. I had wanted to take the makeup off for creatures, but we didn't. So, for Lick It Up, it was a no-brainer. After all, they say insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Well, if we had put out another great album with makeup on, we'd have been idiots. How could we take this to the next level? By making another good album and changing how he looked. You know, retaining the part that people still embraced and accepting and getting rid of the part that wasn't working. When Lick It Up came out, it did well immediately, and we suddenly found ourselves being embraced, even by some of the critics, which was so strange to me, because I consider Lick It Up a good album, but Creatures of the Night is a great album. Others apparently saw it differently. And I would say that reaction is not coincidental to the fact that one of the album covers had us in makeup, and the other didn't. There was also an underlying motivation for me to want the band to take off the makeup. There's really no denying that with makeup, Gene is the face of Kiss. But I've always been, in essence, the voice of Kiss. Well, another way for me to get my due, or to get more of what I thought I deserved, was to take off the makeup. Because I was basically the same person I was with the makeup, whereas Gene relied on the makeup. In a sense, we changed the face of the band. And in doing so, I got to be recognized not only creatively and musically, but on the street, which I also craved and enjoyed. I wanted that acknowledgement, which had been missing. It had always seemed odd to me that when I read something in the media about Kiss, it described Gene as the front man of the band. It was always about Gene. But I thought, what do you mean by front man? The guy who talks the most off stage? What about the guy who does all the talking on stage? So now, I was the lead singer. Indisputably, the face of the band. It served the band's purpose, and it also served my purpose. Whether it was Lick It Up or Heavens on Fire or any of the songs from that era, the band had a new dynamic and a new focus. And if you look at the Smashes, Thrashes, and Hits album, one person is in the center and bigger than the others, which was appropriate. And yeah, I enjoyed that. Plus, there was a feeling that went back to the code of the original band. As far as I was concerned, we didn't have to do the same amount of work, but we each had to give 100%. And when someone wasn't giving 100%, then I didn't expect them to get equal exposure or equal billing. If you want to be in the front, then you've got to hold up your end of the bargain.
Even at the most frustrating times, I never contemplated Kiss breaking up. Too much worth, sacrifice, and commitment had gone into it. I'd worked too hard to get Kiss where it was to throw it away.